Hi, my name is Wei from ANU. I will introduce our work, Generating Smooth Pose Sequences for Diverse Human Motion Prediction. This is a joint work with Miao Miao and Matthew. The task of human motion prediction is that, given a sequence of past human poses, we want to learn a model to predict human movements in the future. There are two types of approaches for human motion prediction. The first one is a deterministic approach, where we learn a deterministic mapping from the history to the future. Because the future motion of a person is usually uncertain, it motivates the second approach to model the uncertainty of future motions, which is also the approach we used in this paper. This approach lends a generative model which uses a Gaussian random variable to model the distribution of future motion given the history. For many safety critical applications, it is important to predict a diverse set of human motions instead of just the most likely one. For example, an autonomous vehicle should be aware that nearby pedestrian can suddenly cross the road, even though the pedestrian will most likely remain in place. However, the typical generative model such as conditional VAE often produces very similar samples. One reason is that the sampling process is purely based on the motion likelihood, which means most of the samples will come from the major mode of the distribution, as the region shown in blue. Given a pre-trained generator, one solution to, is to learn a better way of sampling. For example, in DLO, a fixed number of mappings are learned which aims to map one random variable to different modes of the motion distribution. However, the fixed number of mappings reduce the scalability of this approach, and the performance will also be constrained by the pre-trained generator. This motivates us to directly train a generator for diverse motion prediction. The other factor that constrains the sample diversity of the generator is the motion prior used by almost all previous methods. Due to its high dimensionality, motion prior is much harder to model and in order to ensure a diverse sampling, it is required to have a training dataset with diverse motions, which sometimes is hard to obtain. Based on the fact that human motion is a smooth sequence of valid poses, we propose to use only pose level prior to irregularize the outputs of our generator, and meanwhile enforce the trajectories of those poses to be smooth. Given a history x, our generator will first predict k different future motions with k random codes z sampled from a standard Gaussian distribution. Then our goal here is to explicitly encourage the diversity of those motions, while still ensure them to be valid. We design several loss terms for this. In particular, we have three types of losses, reconstruction, diversity, and post-prior loss, which I will introduce one by one. The first part of our reconstruction loss is, is used to ensure that at least one sample from our model to be close to the only ground truth y provided by the dataset. To capture the bounty model of training dataset, we further obtain multiple future motions with similar historical motion from the training dataset. We treat these motions as pseudo ground truth and use them to supervise part of the generated motions. As to the diversity prior, we follow DLO to use, a, use an energy-based uh, diversity prior, which aims to increase the pairwise distance among k samples. The alpha here is a normalizing factor. Our pose prior consists of two parts. The first part is called joint angle loss. Humans are highly constrained by our biological structure, for example, we, can't, we cannot turn our he head fully backwards. Given a pose, we define the orientation of head as the red arrow and the orientation of the body as the blue arrow. We plot the angle histogram with all training samples 
and as we can see, the angle is clearly bounded. Given the lower bound L and higher bound U of this angle, we can then define our angle loss. The second part of our pose prior is based on normalizing flow. Normalizing flow is an invertible transformation that aims to transfer an unknown data distribution Px to a distribution with a trackable density function, for example, a Gaussian distribution. In other words, we model the 3D human pose distribution Px by learning a bijective and dif differentiable function f, which maps a pose sample x to a latent representation h, following a standard Gaussian distribution. One of the advantages of normalizing flow is the exact computation of likelihood. Thus, given the transformation function f, the likelihood of a data point x can then be explicitly computed. In practice, the transformation function is modeled by a neural network, which is trained to better capture the data distribution. Given a pre-trained function f star and the human pose x hat produced by our generator, the normalizing flow based pose prior is then defined as the negative log likelihood of the pose. Only encouraging the generated poses to be valid is not enough to guarantee a nature motion. To ensure a smooth trajectory, we adopt a trajectory representation based on discrete cosine transform. Using a reduced number of low frequency DCD components, the trajectory is guaranteed to be smooth. In particular, instead of producing 3D poses, our generator will directly predict the low frequency DCD co coefficients and use the inverse discrete cosine transform to obtain smooth human motion. Thanks to our end-to-end -end trainable generator, it is easy to extend our model to new applications such as controllable motion prediction. The goal of controllable motion prediction is to predict motions with the same leg motion but diverse upboarding motion. To do so, we first divide the pose into two parts, legs and upboarding. And the first generator will take a random code Z1 and the history as input to predict future leg motion. The second generator then conditioned on such leg motion to predict upboarding motion with another random code Z2. During training, we will sample k different lower body motions, and for each lower body motion, k different upper body motions are produced. And the diversity loss is computed for each body part separately. During testing, we can sample one random code for a single leg motion, and then multiple random codes to predict diverse upper body motions with the same leg motion. Here we provide quantitative results on human 3.6M and human EVA datasets. We evaluate our method with diversity, which is the average pairwise distance, and accuracy, which is the average minimum distance to ground truth future motion. Our method outperforms baselines on both diversity and accuracy. We compare our results with that of TILO the most competitive baseline. At the first column, we show the ground truth motion, and the rest columns, we show 10 different samples from the generator. The history motion is in blue and red skeletons, and the future motion is shown in green and purple skeletons. As highlighted, it is observed that DILO will generate invalid poses. This may be cause of the lack of pose level prior. Here is another comparison. We also show the results of controllable prediction. By training a new model, DILO is able to predict future motions with similar leg motion, while our approach with a unified model can achieve a full control on leg motion, which means the same leg motion, while diverse upper body motion. Our code will be available on GitHub. Thank you.